It's going to be fun because I, I cut a little bit more here and thought, oh, that's fun and that's fun and that's fun. So with the mason jar, endless possibilities. And I already noticed that uh, uh, people are using this one for the December day by day. So they're basically building that already. And it's, it's a fabulous die set. And that combined with your Z dies is so much fun. So before I forget to say, uh, Andrea Somerville is the winner of the $50 gift certificate. Congratulations, Andrea. So Andrea Somerville, contact info at craftdesigns.com to claim your prize. And um, yeah, and I think that's it. So let's turn the camera. Oh, let me see if I see myself. Going to turn the camera around. Yeah, there we are. There is no sound for a second, please. Oh, we're fine? Yeah? yeah? Oh, no sound. Okay. No we're back. We're back with sound. <laughs> And the batteries are full, so I don't know where that came from, but that's a glitch here. Uh, you know, we're used to glitches uh, these days. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, for the people that are waiting for the mason jar in the UK from Hochanda, the, cra the craft store, it's sitting at customs. So my apologies, can't do anything about it. Paperwork is all good, but it's just the hassle with shipping. But it will always get there at the end. It will always get there at the end. Uh, so let's turn the camera around and then I'm going to start uh, playing. Can you repeat the discount code? Oh, yeah. So the dis discount code is Spotlight15. And it's on a select uh, products from Josette uh, with, the, uh, uh, with her um, winter Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Congrats, Andrea. What did we miss? <laughs> We didn't kiss anybody. I didn't kiss anybody, uh, Tracy. I don't know what you missed. <laughs> I don't know what you missed. Uh, but it's... Uh, so I'm going to combine. So that there's a discount spotlight 15. I don't know if you missed that. And I was telling about our shipping problems to the UK again, uh, Tracy. It's, uh, it's a hassle. But, you know, so my apologies. We really... Everything is in order. Paperwork is in order. And it's just sitting at customs. So it's... Yeah happens these days we do our best so what i did is so i could a whole bunch of uh so i'm go i thought i'm going to glitter one can be white glitter silver glitter uh, or the cool diamond so because i'm working with silver and white i choose to add in the cool diamond and not the warm because it has a more blue tone to it and then i actually um no she knows i took it but i stole this one from your Z when i was in um in uh, Canada, so her little elf, because she had that in silver, that actually got me the idea this morning. And then I have some other uh, things, like I have the toasted marshmallows, which I think will be super cool. And I have a, a snow, like a Santa, and this one, I'm going to give him a silver hat with white. So lots and lots to play with. I die cut uh, snowflakes. I did them in silver and vellum, and I added some glitter dots to some. So it's kind of a, so that's a, sh a shaker material. I only noticed that I had a few that I have one of those black cutting mats. And actually I noticed that some are black on the back. So we need to kind of get those out. So that's from the mat. So that's then not perfect again with that mat. But um, yeah, so lots and lots of stuff to play with. And of course, like, comment and share. I know a lot of people from the Netherlands were with, uh, were with um, Marga. I just need to see if I see myself. I want to find myself on the phone as well. Because if something goes wrong again with uh, the computer system here. So you see, so I took, uh, so I cut some solid ones. I cut some uh, with the window and then separate lids. So I can put that on there. So lots and lots of stuff to play with. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to glitter some snow and a tree. Because I did one in the tape. Because I think that combination with uh, white and um, like glitter is always nice. So I'm going to do that. Probably going to glitter this one as well. And I'm just going to randomly uh, choose colors. Or not random. You know, probably do a silver lid because I think that will be fun. And this is going to be white. So let's do this in white first. So uh, for the people that are not familiar, the white is the only glitter that is a little bit more coarse than the rest. Oh, my uh, comments are not going. I wanted to say that um, that Marga was live at uh, Duiding. So she's working with the new florals there. So I'm going to... So now the snow. Do I want to have the lid completely with the snow? Now I'm probably going to... Cut off the top parts 
because I'm going to hide it behind the lids. Or I can, yeah, I don't think I need, well, you just glitter it. We'll never know. We'll never know. It's only a little bit of glitter. Yeah, Jen, the glitter looks like snow and it is, um, it's, um, yeah, if you do the white glitter, that's actually really nice. And it's a little bit more coarse. That's what I wanted to say. The white is the only one that's a little bit more coarse than the, um, than the transparent one. Tap it off over my trash can and then polish it a bit. Oh, I forgot to brush it off, but that's fine. Oh. Hi from Oregon. Chris, how is it? Is it still that warm or is it better now? I'm just going to brush this off. I hope it got back to a little bit of a normal there as well. I know Canada was super hot and then they got a uh, bamf and then they got a lot of rain at one point. So polishing this in. You see, so that will be cool, you see, in there. And it always gives a little uh, different tone. So I like the different tones of white as well, because uh, depending on the material you use, uh, you get a different, uh, different white. You know what I will do? I will do this tree then in embossing powder, because I think for a tree that might be nice. And then what I do, so this is going to be completely, and needless to say, by the way, that this will be a great stencil for glitter as well. That is, uh, oh, can find the, oh, uh, Jen, you can find the like, comment, and share. Is it working, Anna? Yeah. I know, yeah, Jen, I know we had the same question from somebody, uh, uh, from somebody uh, on Wednesday, but. Facebook might have updated it. Yeah, it is working. So refresh. Do you need to refresh on it in the computer or? Um, no. no, 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 she, uh, Jen. I think they might have changed where you like stuff. Oh, did Facebook change something? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay. Might be that Facebook something changed yeah, something. a little, where you comment, there's a little arrow for sharing. If you comment, there's a little arrow for sharing. Oh, yeah, if you see at the bottom, I see it on my iPad as well. So you can write a comment. I see it at the bottom. And then uh, left to that is a share. So maybe that's changed. And I saw Jonah. Jonah, are you still on holiday? I know you were on a holiday. Okay, let's take this one. So this is embossing powder. So then you get all those different textures, different. And I think that is fun. I'm going to probably burn my hands. Wait, I'm going to take my tweezer. Just holding it here, so I don't burn my hands. And depending on the embossing powder, because I know there's a lot of different embossing powders as well in white, so that's probably all different whites as well. You know how you have all those uh, different uh, white paints? That's what you have, I think, in, uh, am I burning my, oh no, not yet. Let me see. There we go. I don't know if I'm burning my uh, sheet underneath there. Let me see. Yeah, lower left corner. Exactly. That's so. There probably something changed because that's uh, we discussed that earlier with the um, uh, that that little star that we saw. So that we say don't use the star. This is actually nice. So you see. So now I have you see already different whites here, and I like that. I like that a lot. That it's uh, all a little bit different. And that lid, I will. I think I will do the lid this one in also in a embossing powder, and maybe I combine it a little bit with glitter. Let me see. I like the shine of the. I can also do a silver lid, and I could also cut another one. Let's do this one in, because I like the shine of the. And of course, you can cut it out of silver cardstock as well. Oh, it's really hot in all the broek. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hot here as well, I have to say now. But because we are on the mountain, um, we are... Uh, so yesterday I was in the city and it was really, really, really hot. If Joseph is here, he can uh, confirm that. And then as you go up the mountain, because we live a lot higher, it's, it's actually was really nice uh, yesterday. So sometimes it's a disadvantage, but now it's a... Uh, an advantage. Yeah, the, yeah, the winter charge is yeah, kind of winter, Christmas, so... And again, if you want to do that as a base for your uh, December day by day, you can do that. Don't see how that is. This is. 
And of course, I know you have uh, embossing powder with sparkles in silver. And yeah, so there's a lot. Oh, that's going to be nice. You see, I like that as well. Cool, cool, cool. So basically what I did, I just cut pieces that I thought, oh, that's cool. That's nice. That's fun. And of course, you know that, and this is, um, you know, that we have so many things that you can use in your December day by day. And you see, so I'm embossing on our tape. And you will see, depending on the uh, embossing powder, this leaves a little bit of like, almost it looks like um, little holes in there, but it looks for a lid. It's super cool. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it, but here you see, it actually looks really cool as a lid, I have to say. You see, so there, so that's kind of how you start building, you see, that's going to be nice on there. I can see it coming together. This one I want to do in cool glitter. And uh, you might have seen, and I, I know I responded to Kobe. Uh, Kobe already made a uh, mason jar with the village edges. I saw, and I told her, I said, that's on my list. So uh, that was an idea that I wanted to do. And I have, uh, these are actually leftovers from a class I, to, uh, I teach. But I have this one in paper and this one in glitter. So I'm going to do this one in the cool diamonds. Uh, was it nice, Angelique in Rotterdam? Oh, yeah, and uh, yeah, Honora says, yeah, using a jar for your December day by day. Yeah. I know my family went to the zoo in uh, Rotterdam today. I got some super cute pictures from my uh, niece. Yeah. Yeah, so just walk through your uh, craft room and, um, and see what you got in, in these colors. Because there's a... You know, if you walk around, you will see that you have a lot of different stuff in silver and white. That's cool. I'll brush it off a bit. I've done some white and used my last pieces of your blue card. So I'm sad I can't get it anymore. Oh, you mean that... Um, you mean that uh, colorful finish, Honora? The blue one. Do you mean that one? Call it on one side and white on the other side. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kathleen, it is the smoothest. That's why you can that's why you can make such great great uh patterns in there as well. So brush and then you can see and by, by doing these pieces and if you want to build something, you can also say, okay, I'm just going to find all my stuff that I can use and just start cutting it in the white, in the white with the tape. So it all kind of is, uh, you know, you have all those fun pieces to work with. And then just start building. Because I don't know what I'm going to use where yet. Yeah, you know, let's do some. You know what I'll do on this one? I will do some. Uh, because we always seem to have people that don't know this yet. So that's the label from the set. And I did bring some lace that I can use as a stencil. Oh, this one. Let's see if it's long enough. Yeah, you see, let's do that one on here. And then later on, I can put a little circle on here with the text. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, blue, so finished, white. Yeah, it, it, that was my favorite color as well. That's probably why it's sold out. Honora, if I find some here, I think, but I don't know if I still have it. Do we still, wait, just a second. Just going to check if I have some here uh, for you, Honora. No, I don't know. It's not so... I might have some at home. I will see. But that was definitely my favorite color as well. No, I don't see it here. I might have some at home, but I don't know for sure. That. And then I'm going to do the silver first. Yeah, lace technique never gets old. The lace technique never gets old. But of course, you can also... I also have a piece of... Real silver lace that I can use in this one. This one. You see? So I have that. So that can be nice in the jar. So there's like... it's It will be very easy. And my idea was actually... I thought this and then with the characters from Josette that have some color. I thought that would be cool. So you have the color from the characters. Uh, but the base of the jars is all white and silver. I thought... Oh, I'm making a mess here. My hands are very static. But as long as I keep it over my lid, I am... Fine. There we go.
Oh, met het kant. Ja, anders dat is... And, and if you use the lace, you need to have lace. And um, I have a little roll here. I don't know how I got that. But that is a little bit more stretchy. This one. And that will work as well. But not as good as the ones that are not stretchy. So if you can find the ones that are more... I would say like a, a polyester one or something. That actually works the best. Oh, and I finished the coloring of my jar from Monday as well. Yeah, that was fun. No, from Wednesday. Sorry. You see, I lost time again. Oh. There we go. And now I need to be careful that I don't pick up the tape. Uh, cool, cool, cool. And then I'm going to put, um, I think, the white in there. I think I'm going to do the white. And I cannot uh, I cannot let you feel it, but then you will actually have a little bit of texture there as well. That is pretty. You see, and then we have the die set from Esther that I used earlier for the little circle and the text, and you can put that on there. Or if you want to, uh, what you also can do, for instance, what also will be fun... I think that's an Anita thing. I see Anita doing that. Because I know she does that. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. And now polish this a bit. And that's with the white. The white, because the white is the only one. And I think I said it earlier. That's the only one they cannot cut as fine as the other colors. If they make that as fine as the other colors... It was going to be way more expensive because by cut, 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 they lose a lot. So they lose a lot of um, they lose a lot of the um, the glitter, the material. That's what makes it a little bit more expensive. But that's also why. Uh, so with the white, they if they cut it so fine, they lose so much that uh, it's not so. You know, they said it's not doable. Then the, that glitter would be much more expensive. So you see. So what I can do now, I don't have it here, but uh, I can. Uh, cut a little circle and stamp something on there. And this is the one, by the way, I, I finished the coloring yesterday. So that's the one from Wednesday. And um, so go and do that. But you can imagine you can also put like just a face on here. And that would be like uh, something that Anita would do. That's what I mean. You see, if you see this one, just send us face here. Which, by the way, which makes me think now right away as well. If you just have the face on there, how cool of a label would it be around a package or something or a little box? Hmm. Also fun. Okay, so let's... Oh, I didn't glitter my jar yet. I want to glitter one jar. Just a second. Just a second. I'm going to do that, I think, in the white or the white embossing powder. Am I so brave that I'm going to do the white embossing powder? Yes, I am. Yeah, because then I have all the different texture in one page. Let me do that. And you know, for me by now, I love to kind of just uh, play with different things. And then, um, and then just start using it. Because that's, uh, I have, you know, sometimes I walk against the box at home and I think, oh, that's cool. And then uh, I can just use that. But, and I found rhinestones, of course, pearls in silver. And the only thing I don't have that much myself, which I need to get, which I'm pretty sure I can find, uh, is shaker material. I need a little bit more shaker material. Like a sequence, that kind of stuff. Okay, this one. And I can read some comments. Who is brave today? Who is the brave one? Let's see. Starting here. So, Jona, I don't know if you've been to the bookstore already and uh, if it's still there in Old Brook. But if you ever go and the, guy, the man with the beard is still there. I don't know if he still remembers me because it's years ago that I was a sales. But I was a sales rep for Brunsel at the time when I finished all the broek. It was a man with a beard. That's the only thing I know. 
I see Gloria Hi. That's actually that I have to say embossing powder on the uh, on the tape for the jar is actually super cool. That is super cool. Because it has the shine on there. So that is actually nice. So I like that. Okay. I think I have enough to start with. And then uh, I can, uh, if I need more, I can do that. Uh, so that's actually super cool. It's shiny. Huh. Love that. Love that. And um, I also wanted to do uh, the shaker. So I got this already. And uh, the bag. So I'm going to cut that to size. So basically, I need to close it there. <laughs> oh, but you know, maybe I just because otherwise, oh, what time? Oh, I think I have enough time. I think I have enough time because I need to cut it a little bit larger than this. Oh, uh, is it from the Brook or something, Jona? I'm very bad at names, but is it something with Brook? Could that be from the Brook? Hmm, I'm bad in that. But I think that might be it. Van de Broek of, or something. And of course, it's years ago. So if he didn't have anybody following him up, he is uh, enjoying his pension now, for sure. He is enjoying his pension, pretty sure. And I would be very surprised if I have the name correct, because I'm so bad in names. <laughs> so bad in names. Just cutting this a little bit larger than the... <laughs> need to focus so it doesn't slide. Oh, Anna the kids are a tiny town. I know. <laughs> Anna is excited. <laughs> so, uh, I have to tell you. So, we have, uh, it's very close to our house. We haven't been there yet. There is something that's called Tiny Town. And then, of course, people in the Netherlands know we have Maduro Dam. And then Anna says, oh, Tiny Town is so much fun. And, and yeah, it is. <laughs> <a dive> bar, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Strom. Oh, I, no, I, I don't. Oh, the last name is Strom. No, no but, uh, so Tiny Town. So, uh, people in the Netherlands, you know, we have Maduro Dam. If, if I get pictures from Tiny Town... Uh, from Mark, uh, from Joop and uh, Josette, I will show you the pictures. Because then I said to Anna, Anna, we have Maduro Dam. And Tiny Town is, uh, well, uh, let's say vintage. Is that <laughs> Tiny Town is vintage. <laughs> and very small. But I know the kids will have fun. But, uh, yeah. Compared to Maduro Dam, let's say, it's uh, it's vintage, yeah. Only about $5. Oh, and it's only $5. Yeah, that's true. It's only $5 to get in. Maybe, maybe they can maybe they can sp spend $5 to paint the building again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Josette and you will take pictures and I will show it. And the people in the Netherlands will think, yeah, I know what you mean, Els. I know what you mean. But does make, you know, as long as the kids have fun, of course, it's a... Uh, oh, it's Tiny Town Railroad. Oh, you, you put the link in there. <laughs> For people from the Netherlands that will ever be in Colorado. <laughs> Go and visit Tiny Town. And then uh, 10 minutes down the road is where we live. So, <laughs> Oh, Jen says Tiny Town has been forever. Yes, Jen, that's what I mean. That's <laughs> It shows. <laughs> No, it's fun. I'm pretty sure the kids will have fun. <laughs> and actually, Maduro Dam is there forever, I think. I think. Okay, that's in there. Now I need to tape. It opened in 1921. It opened in 1921? And can you check when they did, uh, did an update? <laughs> check when, check when, they, when it was... <laughs> when the last... <laughs> 1952, they did an update? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, that's when it opened, oh, that's when it opened. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Did somebody privately build it then, probably? Uh, that's what I think then. 
That's what I think. And there's somebody privately. Yeah. Angelique, you have many worlds in Rotterdam. I haven't been there yet, I think. Where's that? Is that Rotterdam in miniature? Put a link in there, uh, Angelique, as well. Then, uh, and uh, Anna, put a link in there from uh, Madura Dam, because then people in the US actually know what I'm talking about. Because if you ever get to the Netherlands, and you go to like the, ha the Hague or Scheveningen, like the coast, that's when you want to visit Madura Dam. It has like a miniature airport and uh, the government building and like and on scale. So it's really pretty actually. It's really pretty. No, I'm just joking. But the miniature one, I've never been uh, oh, in Rotterdam. I had no idea. Okay, so do this. Am I there already? Let's see. You see, I can do this while I'm talking. Make sure it's pressed down well. A little piece there, so my shaker material can't escape. Wimbo in the UK is a tiny village. The houses are waist high. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's about what we have in uh, in uh, Scheveningen. Madurodam, thank you. Okay, so I'm doing this, and I want to add a few more um, glitter dots to my shaker stuff here. So I have some dots there as well. So I'm using the glitter dots. And uh, you know we don't have those in uh, the Netherlands on the website. Here we still have some. So I cut some out of vellum and out of uh, white soft finish. What size paper are you using? Size paper. I have the 8.5 by 11 here. Oh, tape. Oh, that's the 3 mil there. And everything is back in stock. So for the, yeah, to go around, I use the 3 mil. Oh, okay. Oh, Angelique, Rotterdam changed so much. It changed so much. And I, uh, I went, to, of course, to the food, food hall or something. But they must have been a struggle when, when it's been so close for so long. And I do the glitter dots, you see, I do them on both sides. And this is some, uh, some work, you know, I did some already. It, did, it doesn't need to be on everywhere. But uh, that's something you can basically, um, you know, do up front. And just uh, add the glitter dots. Kind of make a, make a stash, make a stash. Okay, mini world is treinbanen. Oh, train? Oh, is it trains? Oh, I need to go to. I know my mom will love that. I had never heard about it. And my dad will probably like it as well. I need to have so something uh, like some fun things we can go and do when I visit. If I still can get in, of course, because the Netherlands is not doing that well. So we are traveling to the Netherlands at the end of the month. And I hope, and I know there was a press conference uh, today, so I am wondering what has been said. No discos anymore, I hope, but because that's, well, you know, for the people that want to go to the disco, it's, but I know it's been uh, big, uh, big groups that kind of were a problem. Okay, we'll do two more or something, and then the Oh, the characters, yes, yeah. And this one I'm going to, you see, this is black on the back because I used a cutting mat. That is that black cutting mat. And that actually doesn't look good. So I was going to use this one uh, today uh, or this one maybe, but I'm going to see. So uh, Santa, but we have a lot of uh, videos with the characters, putting them all together because we have a lot. We have this one in, um, well, let me show you here. Wait, I have a few cards here for the people that are new. Because I did bring the latest release cards here from Josette. And uh, so this is the work for me. I will do it quickly because I know I showed this several times uh, last season. But that's uh, the snowman, same one, and then in a woman. Here you got the village edges, that one. And here you got the uh, the elf, the hearse. And then we also have an elf, his. Ah, so adorable if I see that again. You see, so hers and his, here you got both. So, yeah, the Spotlight 15 gives you 15% discount on uh, the, the winter and Christmas from Josette. And that will end uh, Tuesday afternoon. Or Tuesday night, sorry. Not afternoon. Tuesday night. You see, so that's from the latest. What's here? Oh, I have parts here as well. Oh. 
So keep those aside. I can use those. You see, so, uh, but Josette has great, great winter collections and uh, winter Christmas. It's really, really fun. Um, oh, alle horeca gesloten. Ja, yeah. geen festivals en disco's. Scherpte one and a half minute. Ja, yeah. you know it is. Ja, yeah. oké. Okay. De rest moet je ophalen van mensen. Dat mag je niet lopen. Oké. Okay. Oké, okay, so there is, ja. Yeah. It's still, uh, it's still a problem. So I think I have enough uh, shaker material here. Oh, that's another black one. I need to get those out because that's annoying. But you see, I like the glitter dots on there as well. And I do have some left of this one. So it's kind of silvery. So I'm going to use that. So what I'm going to do, I'm closing it here already. Yeah, it's a shame eh, that we need to go back to, uh, yeah. And I think it's mostly the younger generation now that is, uh, you know, that's having a party, which I totally understand. Don't misunderstand me there. But it's, uh, if you're not vaccinated, it's, it's just there. COVID is there. And fact is, if you're not vaccinated, it's very contagious. So... And I think in the Netherlands, uh, the youth can almost get vaccinated now as well. It's different per country. I think here, you, if you call uh, to the, like right now, I know Anna was jumping up and down and she could get a vaccination at that time. I think if you call now, you can be there in uh, like uh, 15 minutes and you get your shot. It's, um, it all changed. Okay, so that's there to go on the other page. And then, oh no, it's back. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, but I still need to do another page. You see, I'm talking, I, I, need, to, I need to think for a moment. Oh, exactly, Lisanne, party in your craft room. I know. <laughs> and, and again, I can understand that, that kids want to go out and, you know, I totally understand it. I want to see if I got more black ones because that's kind of, there's one more here. And I can totally understand that. I, I, I you know, I can get it, but... It's, of course, it's other people as well, because there are actually people that cannot get a vaccination because of health issues. And then you put those in danger. So don't want to do that. Okay, so this is going in. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, that is actually super cool. Love that. <laughs> And again, the bag, eh? the bag from, uh, that I said, I know that from Ilse, from, uh, I think it's from Charlene, but I'm going to put some of that shaker material. Oh, shall I open the lid? Maybe. Oh, teens between 12 and 15. Yeah. And I think we're mostly talking the, the, the people that are like, uh, like the party now that are, so that's probably more than the 17 uh, year old ones, but a little bit of that in there. Oh, that is a cool. I'm just going to throw this all in. I just need to get a new... And then here I find another snowflake. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then I just need to see if I'm going to do my village edges there. So I'm going to take off the last of the release sheet here. So the back will be closed. Da -da -da -da. Oh, that's a that's a bag. It's a bag. Um, uh, it's those uh, bags that you buy for cards or um, you know you can get these in, for the US. You can get these at Uline. I know and they have different sizes, but I think uh, the craft stores sell them as well for cards to put cards in there. Yeah, a self sealing bag. Yeah, so it is a self sealing bag because this this closes. You see, so if I take this off, this is sticky. Yeah. No, I'm not scared. No, Angelique. Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. So you see, that's that. And now, do I have another one that is oh, clear? This one. So that's going to go on here. Oh, this way, of course. This way. Yeah, you need to be cautious. Yeah, exactly. That is what it is. And tape here. I 
no, it's fu it's fun to do. And so these are the snowflakes, by the way. You know that eh? these are the snowflakes from the uh, mason jar. So these ones. You see, that's what I use. And if you just roll them through a few times, you have like uh, quite a bit already. And oh, I need to do tapers here as well. There we go. This one. And let's do one more line here, and then we're good to go. I'm taking this off. There you go. Yeah, so it's mason jar all the way uh, for me because tomorrow as well. Going to be fun. That's why it's nice that the kids go to Mark and Daniela tonight. Ta -ta -ta -ta. There we go. What's that? There we go. No, I'm not. <laughs> Jessica, I don't think I'm uh, that smart all the time, but... Uh, oh, yeah, the snowflake that we made for the shaker. Yeah, the snowflakes are actually... Uh, well, uh, I don't know if Esther made them right away for the shaker, but I said they would be great for shaker. And then the pieces that come out of this one, I saved that as well. That's actually in here as well. You see some paper dots? That's the, the, the dropout pieces for that. But you know we have those dies from Ailes and Charlene with the... Um, um, the pockets, th those make great shaker material as well. And now I need to line this up perfectly. So I'm going to take my non-stick so I can be sure. Because that's, of course, crucial with this. Kind of, I just start lining it up from here. Just line it up perfectly on that paper. Don't stick this down yet. And kind of just go around. I kind of go around from here. And... Because if you if you start crooked, it will end more crooked. Yeah. Who did you leave for me, uh, Jennifer? I've started to switch over to the life with else. Oh no. And the class? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's uh, eleven my time. So 11, oh, now I did not do a perfect job lining it up. Uh, it's 11 Mountain Standard Time. So I did not line it up perfectly. I see I was talking and watching the screen. Then I just snip this off because I'm going to put another lid over there anyway. Well, that's because of its embossing powder on there. Uh, 11 My Time. Yeah, Kobe, I'm, uh, I showed people I am using the... Well, I actually don't know if I'm going to put the... Yeah, I think I'm going to put the village edges on there. You see, so I'm off a little bit. So what you do then, uh, because I do a separate lid anyway. So I'm just trimming this off for here. And I'm good. So then I'm going to put my lid on there that I made with the silver embossing powder. It actually looks pretty cool. So that's also on the tape. Noon Central USA. Yeah, is that true? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I checked it. So it's... Uh, uh, 11 Mountain Standard. Is that correct? Do I say that correct? Otherwise, ask a crafter's home. But I'm pretty sure it's 11. That's what I wrote down. 11 Mountain Standard. Is it one central? I don't think so. Uh, yes, Anne-Marie, if you are... Um, uh, it's a Facebook Live, so that will stay. That will stay. So if you uh, also, if you can't pick up, uh, you know, you get behind a little bit. It's all fine. Uh, you can all watch it. It's, you can watch it back. So it's going to stay. Yeah, the mason jar is fantastic. It's going, I, I tell you, it's going fast, the mason jar. Mason jar is going fast. This one. You see? I'm kind of have a crooked day today. A crooked day. That and of course I don't have mm -hmm. silver twine or white twine here. I have that at home for sure. So I'm going to put uh, white uh, around it. And then of course we have the little label that I already cut. So that's going to be on there. 
So now, what am I going to uh, do on that one? I think I'm going to use the trees because I don't want to uh, lose all my shaker material. And if I would have done the snow, I should have done it earlier. I could have done the snow in there. That is the white snow. You see, I did... Oh, I still need to put a lid on that. Okay, so I can still put it here. I can do this. Or I have the white glitter. Now I like the white cardstock because I already have different colors there. So I'm going to do this one. So it's going to be on the back. And I am going to trim off this again because otherwise I get a lid, the solid, another lid, and then another lid. So that, that's going to be too heavy for me. So I'm going to trim this one off here. Put the snow on here. You see, and then um, add a lid there. That's... You see, so you can already see that I'm not going to use everything that I cut uh, today. But that is all fine, of course. You see, I could have also put the snow in the... That's probably better. Oh, do I need to turn it around? No, this way. Uh, putting the snow in the shaker. And I forgot doing that, but that's fine. You can do it better than I did. That is great. You see, and now I have a little piece here as well because I went crooked with the first one. Whoops. Snow is actually fine here as well. That's actually fine, but it should be like in, more in. I think that would be better. Okay, I have a white lid here, but I don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut. Do I have another one? Cut? No. For this piece, I'm going to cut another lid because then I can make that silver glitter. Oh, I still have a piece here. And then I'm going to work with the trees. And then we'll see which character we put in front of it. Oh, I see. What is the good idea from Honor? I know. Everybody has such great ideas. That's why I'm really... That's what I thought yesterday. I thought, oh, everybody is made such great things already. Even with the prep for the class tomorrow. My goodies. I saw people. I think Yona was one of them. Um... No, I don't know for sure, but uh, I saw... So oh, Angelique. Angelique, your prep work for tomorrow is, like, outstanding. Um, you see, so I'm going to make this one in silver glitter. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Me, 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 me. <laughs> is that, was it you that made the... That did the prep? Oh, uh, Okay. Uh, Ontario has been... Are you still in the stay-at-home order? Fell? Brr. That is a long time. That is a long time. Yeah, here everything is basically open. Um, I think, uh, yeah, not everybody's vaccinated here for sure. But I, I think a lot of the youth gets vaccinated as well. I know in Canada, because I know my uh, sister's kids are all vaccinated. Now, yeah. Oh, you can't stop, Angelique. Yeah. <laughs> You're working on your uh, day by day from 2022, uh, Angelique, right away in one. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, I think the, the mason jar gives him the same feeling as with the, uh, with the camera kit that we had. Oh, Maya. Is your dog okay? Is your dog okay? Uh, I'm so I'm so slow. Yeah, Honora, but honestly, Honora, if you get behind, it do doesn't matter. You pick up and, you know, you just finish it later because you can watch it back. So honestly, uh, no stress for tomorrow. No stress. Because that's what I said. It's hard because I cannot see everybody. Because normally when I teach, of course, you uh, pass the tables. But I will not go fast. And I will... Um, yeah, and of course, because it's a lot of people, so I cannot read all the comments. But it's going to be good. And no stress, you can watch it back. It's going to stay there. So don't worry about anything. Oh, okay. That's not good, Maya. That's not good. I wish I could say that, but you know what? Oh, yeah, you had your ankle, Angelique, yeah. OK, 
Okay, line this one up. Still have a little piece here that I need to trim. You see, so that's cool. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I need twine around it, but I don't have that. I'm not going to put this one on because you know I should have done that before, but I'm going to work with the trees. But you can see this is cool as well. If you put like the little circle on there, that is fun. Um, and you can see right... Uh, love that. Love that. But since I'm working with these colors, I stay with this. But now I have my trees as well. So I did cut some trees. So, and if I do village edges, I actually should have put that in between. So I'm going to use it for another uh, window card. Um, and what you can do as well. So if you want to put it up the front, what I do is you take your die. Yeah? So you take this die. If you want to not put it in a window, you just take the big die. You line it up. So you die cut your village edge first. And then you line this up. Where's cutting? Oh yeah, it's a little bit out there. So if I do this, you see, see that your houses are straight. Then you use tape, which I know I have here, but I don't know where. I don't know where. Anna, do you have the tape? The regular tape, or do I have it? The roller, what? Yeah, the regular tape. All right, you know, I put use a piece of double side tape because I'm going to cut it off anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, that one. Yeah. Where yeah. Is one behind? Oh, this one behind. <laughs> oh, I need that one. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah. It was here, right in front of me. Oh, Cindy, uh, there are, with that mason jar, there are like a ton of possibilities. Yeah, so you line this up, make sure your houses are straight because I don't like it when the house is crooked. Like that. Oh, sorry. Then you tape it. Am I straight? I can't see, I can't see straight. I think I'm good there. So tape this on. And then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. And I'm only going to go in and out because it's only like you only need to cut the bottom. So in and out. Then I think I've got it. You check if you've got it all. And you see here. You see, so you do you use your die to make that. And now if you want to, you can put it on here, you see, on the on the bottom of the page. So you can do that as well. But inside is also fun, you see? So that's a way to do that. Uh, tree. So I have this tree. That's the one. Oh, that's the one with the... Uh, and then I have the regular ones in white cardstock. I think two is enough here. And then I'm just going to put her in the front, I think, in this case. Because I think I like that. So for this one, I'm only going to do the three mil. Crooked House Halloween Village, yeah. You know, uh, I did this card with the uh, uh, village edges. I did that at um, at the uh, expo, when we did expo. And um, if it's only a little bit off and people come back uh, with 100 cards and say, oh, mine is off a little bit, that's not a fun place to be in. So I like it to be straight. But we had somebody preparing all those kits at the time, and that's that. That's a lot of uh, a lot of cutting. Okay, that. And now the tape. I see it's a little bit uh, sticking over here. So here I just slide it in a little bit, just roll it up, that it doesn't stick out, because it's a little bit wider than a three mil. Here as well. Make sure to check that that you don't see the tape showing up. And that one, I would like that to be under here a little bit. Let's see if I can lift this up. No, I don't think so. Well, the elf will be in front of that, so that's fine. And I also don't like crooked trees, although we have a ton of those in our own property that are crooked. Ah, love it. Love it. And then the little one. It would be a nice one for the campfire as well. Oh, we need to put it down a bit. Sorry. I'm too high up. So after this, I'm going to do the uh, Clipper Street. Got the, uh, got the. Um, I'm just going to put a few on the tree here. Clipper Street got the flor florals in, so I'm going there for a live at 1:30 my time. That. And I do one piece here, and that will hold it in place for sure. 
that's enough because I don't want to uh, have it all the way down that's why I also don't put tape behind the whole tree because it's a tree so it's it's alive kind of in a in a weird way of course but um so do we have any plans for the weekend anybody's going to be be uh doing something really fun I know I will be busy with the kids no, no, the weekend. We don't have them in the weekend. They're actually going there. Yeah, for that tree. Needless to say that uh, uh, shorter tree, shorter tree, super short tree. You see, so you can cut that in all different sizes. So you see, that can go like I, I can put a young, very young tree uh, here if I want to, you see. That actually might not be bad. Because if you go to the forest, you will see that you have a lot of tiny trees as well. We're going to do that. So that tree is, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that also by cutting it smaller, because that was my idea as well that I had, that I'm going to use it in the, with the village edges, you see. If you make it smaller, you can do different heights. My tree, like here, the trees, the, the pine trees can be much bigger than, um, yeah. Oh, you need some woodland creatures. Deer, squirrel, owl. The owl we have already, but the deer, squirrel, yeah, I know, I know. We might work on that. But uh, yeah, you see, so you can see that tree can be uh, behind the village edges as well. So don't forget that if you have that, uh, if you have that die set, which I know a lot of you have. So now I need to put some tape here, which is super tiny. Oh, wait. So I definitely need to roll that one up. Yeah, you see, so now I see my uh, tape here. So I'm going to roll this up with my nail that i don't see the tape on the side of the tree on my back on my shaker Let's see yeah done let's put that here as a baby tree you see and then she oh she fits perfectly on the with her shoes she fits perfectly on the this could also be fun of course Oh, I like, I, I'm always in love with the snowman. Uh, this one would be fun. That's actually also in color. And then this one, you see, it's all fun. And then, of course, uh, I also thought, I didn't use that yet, but you can do a campfire and instead use the marshmallows, use that one there. That's actually a really good option as well. Although, watch out with the campfire. Watch out with the campfire, of course. Need an altar too. Send me messages. If you have wishes, send me a message because this is going to disappear in all the messages. So if you have a request for something, send me a private message. I love to see that. Uh, because Josette's actually next week, like from Sunday, when, Monday morning when you pick up the kids, she is going to work on her designs. Yeah, so put that on here. Oh, is that happy or not? Is that a good start of the weekend? Love it. Love it. You see, and then you can just keep going with your pages. I think that is it. That is it. How, how much fun did I have again? It's too much fun to do those lives. And we actually did this yesterday. I have pictures from us. Uh, Annika is, I have to say, Annika is a master, uh, master toaster, like uh, roasting marshmallows. She is focused. She is, she is on a mission when she does the marshmallows. Hers are like you burned one completely. But Annika is so focused on doing that well that she has great marshmallows. So I think that's it. So village edges will come later because you can see this is not, this is not done yet. This is not done yet. There are so many possibilities. You see, I found silver ribbon as well. Could go on the top. That actually, that's, that actually is a nice texture there. So I might do that. But I was thinking about that. Alrighty. So I want to thank you all. Again, like, comment and share. Uh, winner was Andrea Sommerville. Uh, and we will announce another $50 gift certificate winner on Monday. Oh, let's turn the camera around. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, let's look at the camera. Let's, let's, uh, when I talk to you. Uh, so like, comment and share. And then um, spotlight 15 for the select items from your Zets collection. And then um, I think that's it for now. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, beautiful weather, lots of friends if it's possible. 
and keep that distance whenever you need to and uh, I see you all on oh I need to say Monday will be Lisanne she will work with uh, characters from Josette and with the Mason Jar as well and she is fabulous with that because you know that and uh, on um on Wednesday it will be Annette Green and I think she's also uh, working on the Mason Jar. Let me get the Mason Jar from Lisanne out quickly uh, because I have that here. So this is one of Lisanne's. So Lisanne is uh, the bomb with Josette's characters but she's going to use the winter Christmas ones as well on uh, Monday. So uh, thank you all, wonderful weekend and see you then next Friday. Bye bye!